Jeremy Oliver here with Marty Guru, ex-Penfold. Ex long time ago now. In fact, it's uh, 30 years. 30 years since you left Penfold. Oh, my God, yeah. um, you're making me feel very young. <laughs> hey, I feel old. <laughs> so, Marty is uh, ex-Penfolds, and the reason we're here at the Running Postman Wine Bar in Camberwell is, Marty is the owner of... Well, my daughter, actually, is the owner. The daughter, yeah, okay. Marty's Jody, daughter. Yeah. So, does she know that we're doing this? Yeah, no, she, she's yeah. finally agreed us to do something with the bottle. Okay, <laughs> this is a bottle, but a very, very particular bottle of Penfolds Grange 1972 that will shortly appear in our online store in the old and rare section. But it has a massive story behind it, Marty. So, can you please talk to me about this? Well, go, go back to... I, I joined Penfolds in uh, 78, in about um, 82. Some problems... So bottles of 72 start being returned. Mm. And the, you know, the people in Sydney said that that's impossible. You know, it doesn't happen with grain. So that's a, being returned to supply. To supply, as yeah. being off. There's something wrong with it. Yeah. And they came into it, and of course they, they were off. Mm. But it was unheard of. It couldn't possibly be. Yeah. So then not I, grains. Not grains. Yeah. And then the sto uh, story went on. Well, there were some problems <laughs> with a couple of story was, I've been there nearly five years, some disease uh, barrels. Yeah. Which only must have come to Victoria. I'm going, okay, oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. So I said to my boss at the time, Jim Williams, well, I've got one for my daughter. He said, well, go and take it over you know, to Max and see what he thinks. So this is Max Schubert, Max Schubert. the legendary Penfolds yeah. winemaker whose masterpiece was to create Grange. So Jim said, Max likes you, so just go over and have lunch with him and stuff. So I flew over and uh, we met and we, he opened the 72. That yeah. bottle? And there was nothing wrong with it. So but it's okay. It's it okay. not one of the bottles. It's not one of the bottles. That yeah, was the important yeah. part about yeah. my daughter's bottle. And where does this bottle come in? Well, then after, because that much of it was gone, Max said, yeah. what we'll do, we'll top it up with mother's milk. Which is the... 76 grains. 76 it was vintage grains. Well, yeah. I think it was the 25th anniversary of grains yeah. at that stage. Yeah, it would be. And, yeah. That's right. and um, this other part of the story is, you'll note on here, it's been signed by Max. And Max wow. kept a, a felt tip pen. That he used, people would come up to in a restaurant and say, Mr. Schubert, would you sign my bottle? Yeah. So we said to him, you've got to stop doing that, Max. It adds $100 to the value. <laughs> and he said a few expletives, which will leave out of this exercise. He said, so I won't do it anymore. Okay, But he signed that for my daughter. Wow. And then he said, now here, I'll show you something you've never seen. And no one, very few people, including your boss, Jim Williams, has seen. And in his little lab, he had a, a bunch of burner going yeah. with a real saucepan. And he dipped this thing into it. And he said, now here's the seal, the McGill seal, which is this, what? which he then sealed it. Wow. And he said, if that adds 100 to the bottle, look, what does this do? He said, because this is very rarely ever used. Right. And that's how the story came. Because I didn't recognise that. I've no, not seen no, too many of them. I'm saying you won't have. Yeah. As he said, it was very rare. So that was nice. So thanks for the piece. Because I like your daughter. So you never married. So I like you. Therefore, I like her. And that was how, how it went. Wow. And then what happened to this? So then we went down to the Naval Military Club. club and drank that. Max was able to <laughs> take his own wine into the club. <laughs> so we drank the bottle. Wow. I took him back to McGill and I flew back to Melbourne. And you've still got the empty that you... Yeah. A, yeah. a bit of which is still in there. It's there. Um, but he wouldn't sign that because he said, I'm not allowed to sign that because you said I can't sign them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so he wouldn't sign it at the time. So here we go then. This yeah. is one of the more astonishingly unique uh, bottles of Grange I've ever seen. Uh, it's a 72. It's been topped up by Max Schubert with this one, the 76, which <laughs> Marty here drank the rest of that with Max, and it's been signed by Max himself. And I can see the signature very, very clearly on the bottle. So a truly astonishing bottle, one that I hope you take a look at uh, when it's on the platform right now. Marty, thanks so much no, for the story. It's, it's great good. to see you again. It's yeah, been so, so many years. Been a few years but, uh, and one of the more astonishing bottles of Grange I've ever mm. seen is the reason we're together. And the point being, of course, that the whole process was undertaken just to make sure that this wasn't one of the dud 72s and it's not. It's been proven by the inventor of Grange himself, Max Schubert.